shake. Fancy pulling out. <laughs> Follow that car. Uh, <laughs> road rage. Some drivers, it's terrible. <laughs> Just pull out right in front of you, pop you up. <laughs> I'm going to chase him down to where he's going. I am. <laughs> get him. Yeah. Get him, Purdy. Yeah. Road you, rage. You get him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> yeah, no. Told you I'd get them. It's a bit bloody windy up here. This, they, these are them idiots that pulled out in front of us in Fulham. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you. Hi guys. <laughs> this is Gordon and this is Lily. And uh, Gordon has uh, Wildfire, go on. Wildfire, wildfire, and we have a YouTube channel with it as well. We do wild walks, which is basically history and heritage um, places and locations. That if you're coming up to Northumberland at the moment, you can like go out and visit, and find your way around. So we thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you a little bit of where we are and a little bit of history to the uh, culture. culture. Fields. <laughs> so, there's probably no sound in that video. We might have to sit. We're at Ad Geffrin. Is that how you say it? Yad Geffrin. Yad Geffrin. Who's coat is that jacket hung up down there on the floor? It could be Ad Geffrin. Yeah, it could be. We don't Scholars, scholars argue. Yeah. I recognise a name. We did a, a um, Whitby when we were over at Whitby. Uh, yeah. King Oswy. Yes. Oswy and Oswald. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were all. They were all. And they bought. They were the ones that took Christianity over to Whitby. Well, yeah. It was actually here that under Oswald and his brother Oswy, they got the Bishop Paulinus to do the first like mass baptisms in the river, just the other side of those trees. Oh, we're going for a moat around the field. <laughs> it's not just a field though, is it? And you say there might be sheep in here? No. Right, Meville like that. Are up. we going on a little adventure, Baba? Want to go and price the field? Yeah? Just before we left the <laughs> You're already having one, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Are you at the top? Oh, um... <laughs> say hi, guys. <laughs> Under my wings I can feel the air oh, Pulling me up as I The crafting videos, the crafting basics and stuff like Are they that. doing okay? Or? Yeah, not really. Um, so I'm not really into that, so I'm, I wait for the wall. But what I'm trying to do is upload every week. Yeah. And at the minute, we just don't have the budget or the time to do yeah. a, a separate walk video every week. Yeah. Even if they were like 10, 15 minutes long. 
okay. because they're not making the money, they're not even making the view count back yet mm. to make it worth doing one a week. See, there is a crossover so. between van lifers and bug outers. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, bug out people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So then again, your channel might leap well, back into the into the bug out stuff yeah. because of the bushcraft. What, what I'm going to start doing. After oh, this series, yeah. after this series, or the, the spring series is done, the summer series, I'm going to try and I'm going to literally do a review of spring series and go right. Noise. We are not going to try and do an entire geographic region in one episode ever again. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a specific time period in a specific place because there's too much to find and actually to dig the history out. Yeah if we're going for 1600, 1700 years of history. Yeah. Nah, I'm going to do this. So what I'm going to try and do in the summer series is, as well as going to the locations, I'm going to try and do like a night out in the kit. Yeah. So when I go over to Holy Island, I'm going to try and stay on the spit above the tide in Viking kit and be like, this is what they would have experienced without a fire. It's going to be pretty unpleasant. That'd be good. That'd but it will really be an interesting video. So we've just been to that church and we've driven down to Hetherpool. Hetherpool. <coughs> which is a kick in the ass we... from the Scottish border. All right. Well, we came to have a look at a stone circle. And um, we can we can see it from the from the car, but it's Four stones um, is a square, I'm afraid. It's a few it's just a few rocks in a it, it's nothing It's not like century circle. It's nothing like that. So it's a little bit also, more history very very cold and windy so we're sitting this one out all right caleb gordon's out there with his camera woolly hat you know clothed up for the weather and we're just going to sit this one out i think because it is very cold too cold for caleb so yeah i think she'd get blown away quite honestly yeah it is really but i mean look at my hair <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I'm afraid I'm a little bit disappointed um, with that stone circle it, because four not, stones makes a square. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's not the most impressive stone circle. I mean, the the countryside is phenomenal. Spectac yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. I'll whip the camera around in a sack. And we've had such a good day so far. Yeah, we're in the College Valley at Hathapoli. It has been a good day. Yeah, it's been really good. The weather was much nicer yesterday, but... Uh, it's still been really nice and it was nice to go into the church and uh, get out of the wind. <laughs> I didn't but, catch fire. Yeah, to be honest, churches don't really interest me that much really, but I do really like the stained glass windows. They're so pretty. Thank you. Really pretty. Are you pinching my mints? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It kept you quiet, didn't it? <laughs> mm? Mm -hmm. Right, we'll see where they end up taking us next. Taking eggs. <laughs> Bye. But yeah, our view from the vehicle right now. There was a now. hill fort on top of that hill. There was a hill fort on top of that hill. Mm -hmm. There was a hill fort over the there. Another fort. one on the top of there. So we were so literally it is, surrounded by. It is nice by to look at. And Iron the, Age the stone circle is actually on the other side of that notice board, but yeah, it's really not much to look at. But this lot is. <laughs> Even Lily sitting this one out. <laughs> Stone circle there. Very tiny. <laughs> and that was the full 
Valley at Hetherpool, um, surrounded by Iron Age hill forts. We're right on the borders of Scotland at the moment, and uh, I shouldn't really be driving at the. Uh, what? But, uh, but Forgot your seatbelt. Oops. Get it on, love. Yeah. Don't run into the cattle grid at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we're going to carry on following these guys and they're going to take us to Millfield. And where are we? This is Mailman, Millfield. So the village is now Millfield, but like the Mailman, the site, there's this timber reconstruction, I'll show you in a minute. But the actual site of it, I get this wrong every time, was underneath Millfield Road, bend of the river, Crook. The actual site of it was somewhere down here under the airfield. <coughs> and they discovered it when they were doing excavations on the airfield and they went, oh wow, that's quite impressive. So they rebuilt it here to have a look at in modern Millfield and yeah. correct me if I'm wrong but somewhere over here would have been where we've just, uh, yeah. Gethron? yeah 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 so that stone the battle stone you can see it from the other side of the road I think we missed it on the way mm -hmm. out but old Evering old Gethron is there the bend in the river that Pauline has baptized everyone in is there, and then Kirk Newton Church we went down to, mm -hmm. there, the stone circle's off up here somewhere. And Scotland's so, just up here. Scotland's here. You know, Scot Scotland's, Scotland's here. <laughs> <laughs> and here. Um, but yeah, it's, well actually no, sorry, Scotland's not there, Scotland's here. It's sort of in there. this bit, yeah, it's down in this bit and down here, because the map's upside down. But all of this, and then on the other side of the valley, so if we're looking out over that way on the hills to Ruffing Lynn and everything, that's got huge amounts of Neolithic cup and ring mark stones. So that's Ruffing Lynn, Goat Crag, Fenton Hill, all of those off and away over there and on this ridge line, all of this has got Neolithic like 3000, 2000 BC cup and ring mark stones and stone art and everything. Cool. A lot more in Northumberland than people realise. There is, there is. Yeah. We've Wicked place. We've really enjoyed it so far, but uh, that bit over there looks it's, very interesting. It's amazing. Should we go and have a look? Sorry. Definitely. It's, it's incredible. That's what they actually found for the archaeology. So this recreation is, is a th sort of a 3D above ground recreation, but there were burial pits and then post holes of inner rings, banks, ditches, massive post holes on this side. So, and on the far side for these. So what they've done is they've taken that and then brought it above ground and recreated it. So, sort of the same as the Beads World buildings, where we know what it looked like at ground level. We don't really know what it looked like when it came up. And there's those concentric circular yeah. rings that are on hundreds of them. They are the top of that ridge everywhere. up at the top there. Well, if you look right down through this gap here, mm -hmm. right on the far horizon. Yep. That's Ross Castle. And that's where you were the other week. That's where I was the other week. So again, you can see it from every angle on this valley. And just to the left of that and behind, there are another sort of 10, 15 documented rock art points. And then Dodd Law, which is up that way, there are another sort of, you know, some of the best preserved cup and ring marks in the country. So and, uh, if you're into your prehistory. What was it all about? Well, who knows, right? This is the thing they say the, the cup and rings were. It, uh, it's not landing platforms for aliens then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be. <laughs> um, maybe it was a stilt house. Maybe they've just forgotten about the house on the top. Maybe it burned down. But if, if it's lined up to the moon, you don't go to this sort of effort with primitive tools. You know, bone picks and stuff. You don't go to this level of effort if it isn't for something. I mean, it could just be modern art, you know, there's this one guy in the village who goes, I want to make an installation! And 
and now archaeologists and historians are looking at it going, it's really significant, it means this, when actually it was just like a Banksy. <laughs> 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 Nobody knows, that's, I think that's the coolest thing. But it is. And it, it is astronomically aligned? I believe so. Um, I must admit, I'm not 100% sure if what they've built here is aligned to anything, but the processional route that walks around, through the gap here, down under where the burial pits would have been in the original piece, round the other side of the kist, and then out. So, for that, and for them to have been able to see that in the ground, there must be something. And the posts are perfectly circular. These are based on the actual footprint of the posts, of the holes they found. So there's this weird overlap, and there's another one there that's gone now. It got blown down. But why, why the dent? You know, the posts could have been this high. But isn't it the case that um, going back to Mesolithic, is it Mesolithic times? Yeah. Um, when they built these houses, they did bury the dead in the houses with them. Yeah, yeah. So, so it could be. It could be a, it could be a, it could be a house, be, and not really stones at the circle. It could, it could be again. This is in the same way that every ring fort, like built thing on the top of the hill, is a hill fort. Every site like this that we find is a Henry site and must be religiously significant. But not necessarily so. So people are buried with important things. People are laid away with important things. And they used to bury the dead in the houses to yeah. be close to their ancestors. So maybe we're judging people completely wrong. Maybe we're judging them by the wrong standards. And what they were actually doing was all of these post holes that we're seeing on top of it was built like a Cranog style decked house on the top. And we just don't know because it either burned down or got thrown away. And then the dead were buried underneath until somebody pops up to tell us otherwise. Or until we get a time machine. Huh? But we invented a time machine three weeks ago last Tuesday. They'll be back tomorrow to tell us about it. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's uh, always the case. They build something of interest. And just when you think it's good, Something inviting. The council go and put a bloody lock on it so you can't get in. It's probably where they have the Freemasons meetings. <laughs> See, we start off in the uh, modern times yeah. here. There's not an awful lot that we know that goes beyond here. Yeah, but that's that, that's 8,000 BC. That's a long time ago. That's about the time that the pyramids were made. Hmm. <laughs> it's, it's insane, isn't it? When you look at when you look at the crossovers in countries, and you go, "Well, when they were when in China, in like around, around about here, China were making gunpowder." Yep. And we were still living in mud huts and throwing rocks at each other, and China were making fireworks. Yeah. Yeah. Back then, they were different creatures. If you had a guy that suddenly appeared, there'd be four times the size. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, it was mentioned in the Bible. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I don't believe the Bible was factual. She's looking down. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. It's going to fall down. Is that good? Oh! oh. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Do you want me to move it a bit closer to you, darling? I know you can't look at that for actual weapon. Uh, yeah. no, but ah! yeah. and the thing is, if you look at the oh, 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 it falling down? Yeah, before Christian times, well, it was a little more civilized, didn't it? When, when you go back into like early Anglo-Saxon culture, and you're looking at the you're looking at the chronicles, you're looking at the Eddas, you're looking at the yeah. Beowulf as a story. Yeah, the version we've got written down probably. So, after we'd been for a nice day out with Gordon and Lily at Wild Dyer, we, um, we ended up going out for a takeaway 
and then they offered us a night on their drive and uh, we ended up getting the field <laughs> so that's why we woke up this morning got some lovely views around here it's literally in the middle of nowhere that's the house just there a ball oh yeah is there a ball go and get it then go on then so yeah it's absolutely gorgeous got up this morning i was doing a little bit of work in bed and purdy had opened the the back for me so i could look out the window he's actually took it down now because it's getting a bit hot in there because he's cooking everybody a meal tonight so we're gonna have another night here i think before we go off so what are you cooking love <laughs> The same thing I've been cooking all bloody week, I think. <laughs> we have. It's our leftovers from the other night, because we had a takeaway last night instead. Well, we sat in and ate it, didn't we? We did. We're having a beef casserole with carrots and broccoli, mashed potato mm. and cauliflower cheese. Yum, yum, yum. Got For the starters. On. So we don't know how long it's going to take to cook. Probably an hour <laughs> in there. <laughs> At least. Well, to be fair, the cauliflower's cooked, so um, we just need to keep everything Yeah, warm we're in Wooler now, aren't we? And no, we're in Chatton. Chatton. We're about five miles we're outside of Wooler. Yeah, but the place you went to get the shop in this morning, the place called Fr Farm and Freeze, was it? Farm, farm to Freeze. Yeah. Uh, great little shop. That's in Wooler itself. And they, they have like a little mini supermarket on the side. We've got um, a nice fresh loaf of five grain nice bread nice and go nice with our their butchers they do everything in there from rabbit venison pheasant duck oh, beef wow. the, whole, <laughs> the whole selection but i'd gone with the intention in mind of uh, we're having beef casserole again so we're having beef casserole again yeah We've had a really nice couple of days with Gordon and Lily, and to be honest, I, n I never used to be interested that much in history until I met him, really. And Gordon just has a brilliant way. He's a storyteller as well. He does all the stories around the fires when we do camps and stuff. And he's just got a brilliant way of, like, keeping you engaged while yeah, he's... It, it, while he's, He can um, certainly narrate a story. Yeah. Um, even that first place we went to, Ad Geffrin, it was literally just a field, but... When 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 we walked round it with Gordon, it didn't feel like just a field. You could sort of see what it would have been, and it was just really nice. It was really interesting, and it was a nice day out. Very windy it though. Wasn't <laughs> so yeah, a lot of the footage that we got was just a bit too windy. But yeah, it's been lovely, and um, we'll be staying here for the night and then heading off again tomorrow. They've offered us showers as well, which is very nice of them. So, you know, cooking a meal is the least we can do. <laughs> I don't think I'm quite ready for one yet. <laughs> yeah, I might be able to go another We're not actually that days. stinky, but <laughs> hey, we're not, we're not going to turn it down. <laughs> and poor Kaylin, her hair is just... It's like a bee's nest, isn't it, Baba? You need a hair wash, don't you? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Have you had a good time here? Can I shut the... You want to shut the cupboard? Okay. Have you shown them the view out of our window? Yeah. Out. Just what I was saying before, when Purdy opened the window for me so I could work. Excuse the mess on the bed, we haven't made it yet. <laughs> it's like nearly tea time. That is what I did my work to this morning, that lovely view. It was so nice. Good idea, them sliding doors, aren't they? Yeah. I like the window one. It's good. So, yeah, we'll get on. Have a meal. And then uh, we'll be heading off. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're interested in more about the wild walks that Gordon and Lily do over at Wildfire, go and check them out. We will put a link in the description for you. And um, also, Lily, they, well, they both actually do tarot and rune readings. So if that's something that's up your street, it's certainly up my street. And that's Lily We'll put the links into the description to go to their sites for that as well. Um, yeah. Yeah, and we'd just like to say thank you, Gordon and Lily. Thank for you. For a fantastic couple of days. It's yeah. been entertaining and 
educational. Yeah, we'll certainly have to do something again. Definitely. Yeah. So, thank you. Thumbs up, guys. <laughs> On your way out, ring the bell, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Kaylin, are you going to say bye, guys? Bye, guys. <laughs> About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.